Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Vessalatu vesselamu ala Resulillah. Esselamu aleyküm ve rahmetullahi ve barakatuhu. Welcome to our lessons for Medina Book 1. We are going inshallah to uh, continue with our lessons. We start today inshallah the lesson 2. And the lesson 2, if we can say it's exactly as the lesson one that we saw had a lesson one had a, and today we are going to see what's the meaning of dalika <coughs> sorry hada means this and dalika means that the only difference here it's both of them they are called ism ishara means these are demonstrative pronoun but had is used <coughs> for close items or animals or uh, objects or uh, humans and we use zalika for far objects items animals etc of humans yeah if we point to something which is beside as we say had uh, if we point to something far we say that so as i said this is just a revision of lesson one okay and we are going to focus inshallah we try to uh, take time to this lesson it's only two pages what we are going to do inshallah uh, as long as possible that our students will understand even if they miss the lesson one they can uh, catch up here inshallah okay so we start first with the vocabulary and we do next the grammar okay so next lesson will be about the grammar but this lesson will be a vocabulary inshallah so at dars thani that means lesson two at dars thani that means lesson two okay a thani means the second and in arabic we don't say Lesson number two, Adars uh, Ithnain, which is two, we say second lesson, okay? Second lesson. Okay, let's carry on, inshallah. So we have, as I say, Dalika. Dalika is called Ism Ishara, okay? Previously, we saw the three parts of the speech. Fi'l, harf, and ism. A fi'l, we are not going to study it, okay? We study later on, maybe in the, uh, the middle of the book. The harf, which are little bit, we study them, inshallah, but most we focus on the ism in this book, okay? Means in the first half of this book, we go for this one. Ism ishara lil ba'id, that means demonstrative pronoun for far objects for far items okay ma hada ma hada what is this what is this ma hada what is this we are asking about something close to us but if the we say ma hada hada najmun if we draw a star beside us we say Hada, because it's, it's on the paper. But the real star is in the sky or in the space very far. So we don't say mahada, we say madalika. That means what is that? What is that? So madalika, what is that? And the answer will be as well. It's the same as mahada. That is dalika is a star <coughs> that is a star okay so that is a star so a najm which is a star okay najmon we can say najmon is a star najmon is a star okay in arabic okay remember this for those who missed the lesson one these are just revision for them, yeah? So, ma hadha masjidun wa dhalika 
Dayton. This is a masjid. Okay. Please don't say mosque. I told you. Wadalika and that is a house. Okay. And that is a house. Okay. To try to uh, allow a little bit the Okay, oh, it's okay. Yeah. Just read. Hi. Had a masjid on. This is a masjid. Wadalika Bayton. And that is a house. Okay. So we try to. Masjid. We leave the same name in English. Masjid. We don't change it. Bayton is house okay that we know we have a new word here it is or we did we have a where in arabic where that means end where means end okay means a masjid is close to us so we say here the masjid on but a house is far so we are going to say the okay which is the same here for Hada Hisanum. This is a, a horse. Wadalika Himarun and and that is a donkey okay and that is a donkey so this is a horse and that is a donkey okay so let's go for smaller capital we go for smaller ones that we don't Okay, let's make them small. This is a star, what is this? Say. Had a musty done. And smaller, just to be able to read that again. Yeah. And that is the house. And that is the house. Okay. So this is a horse. This is a horse. Had a hisan. The horse is crowd. We use this. Okay. And that is a donkey. Okay. Let's do the same for next one. It is a is we know that this is called smaller uh harf or hamzat is Is this this is is that okay? Sorry, yeah. Adalika Kalbun Kalb is a dog, yeah. Adalika Kalbun. So we have half a jawab la no Dalika that is a cat, okay? So that is a cat. Adalika Kalbun is that a dog? 
No, that is a cat. Okay. So let's understand that a dog is a kelbon, bait is a house, and a pet is a cat. Okay. So far, it should be okay. So let's go for next, inshallah. Next part of the book. Mada Lika Mada Lika. What is that? Dalika Sarirun. Dalika Sarirun. That is a Okay, so here, if we can understand, or if we uh, can notice, if for the sentence, dalika and hada is the same, same sentence used, just we change hada to dalika to make a sentence or to point to something far. Asking with ma, Hada is the same as ma dalika as well. We just change dalika, and if we say a, we used to say a hada, it's the same. We change just dalika if the object is far. We say a dalika kelbon instead of saying a hada kelbon. Okay, so here, as I say, just a revision, there is no something new, only we added the word dalika that means that. And it's the demonstrative, demonstrative pronoun to point something far. Okay. Inshallah, we finish the, with this page. We are going to study it. Inshallah. Okay. Men hada wa men dalika. Who men is used for humans? Who is this men hada? Who is this? Well, and man dalika. Who is that? Okay. Here the sent the words are well known. Okay. We have man hada wa man dalika. So a teacher is close to us. So we say hada mudarrisun. Hada. This is a teacher. Okay, this is a teacher. Okay, wadalika, wadalika, and wa means in Arabic and is called half atf, and dalika that is a imam. An imam is well now that is the person who leads the prayer. Yeah, wadalika imamun. Wadalika imam. This is a teacher. Yeah, this is a teacher, and that is a a teacher. Okay, and that is a. This is a teacher. Hada mudarrisun. Wadalika imam. Okay. Ma dalika ma hada. We to say this. What is this mahada? What is that? Dalika. What is that? Mahalika. Dalika hajarun. That is a rock. That is a rock. Okay, and hajar is big stone, yeah. Dalika hajarun. Okay. And we have two new words here. We have sukkaron, which is sugar, and lebanon, which is milk. Okay, so we say hada sukkaron. This is sugar. Okay, and we have that is milk. Okay, this is sugar, and that is milk. Sugar is sukkaron. Milk is leaven, okay? We can say as well milk for haliha. We have halib as well for milk, okay? So, sukkaron is sugar. 
Laban is weak, okay? Just a small uh, remark here that in Arabic, we do not have a copular verb, which is what is this, okay? What is this? There is no in Arabic this kind of is in a normal sentence, okay? So, for example, we take a sentence which is ma is well known, but by what Zalika is that ma what that if you translate you say what that okay it doesn't have any sense so in english we have to say what is that what is this okay but in arabic we don't have this okay we just understand the sentence that we cannot say something okay is well known as uh, what is that in english and a copular verb there is no inshallah there is no, we don't use is in Arabic, okay? So let's finish with the exercise here, okay? Let's finish with the exercise, inshallah. So, okay, Tamarin, Iqra, Waktub, this one. Iqra, Waktub. Hada sukkaron wa dhalika labanan. We saw this, that had is for this, Dalika is for that. So we say, this is sugar and and that is leban, milk. Okay, the second, men Dalika, we are asking, men Dalika, Dalika, we have it that, who is that, men is used for who, and ma is used for what? Man dhalika. So dhalika imamun. That is imam. Or that is an imam. Okay. Next word or sentence is a dhalika qitun. A dhalika qitun. And we have the uh, a. Hamzat istifham. We use a here for it's the copular verb, but it's used for a uh, question, okay? Is that, that is delica, <clears throat> okay? Because al qit is far, or what we, the animal is far, is not the qit, because it is, the answer will be kelb. Delica, a delica qit also, a doesn't go for is, always, okay? It could be is, are, do, did, does, okay? Will used for a question. You would call this hamzat istifham or adat istifham, okay? Is that a cat? No, no. No is la. That is a dog. And we have the last one, which is what is this? Hada is used for clothes items. Okay? So, ma hada, hada hajarun, and we know that hajar is rock, okay? Hada hajarun, okay, good. So, let's inshallah do the new words in this part. We have imam, imam is not new. We have hajar, rock, and we have sugar for sukkaron. Okay, and we have milk for Lebanon, okay? Any question, just ask us, inshallah. I uh, hope this is benefit and is, uh, the sound is good as well as a lot of, of our students, they complain about the sound. Sometimes the sound is going in, yeah? And uh, we hope that all the words are clear now after this second lesson, okay? We will take time to explain this lesson. We take time to uh, focus on this lesson that all our students We'll catch up with the first lesson because it's this exactly the same, just delica is coming to take place here, okay? 
Jazakum Allah khair and see you in next lesson which will be a grammar lesson for lesson 2 in Madina Bukha. Jazakum Allah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.